Hello there, welcome back to Natural Social Channel. In this video, I will share about the most beautiful crane in the world. Not only beautiful, but they also include animals that are almost extinct. Their population is vulnerable to the point that its existence must be protected. Agami Heron, Crowned Crane, Capered Heron, Secretary Bird, Sun Bitten, King Future, and Spawn Bill. There are many species of rare birds in the world that can only be found in certain areas. One of them is a heron, a gummy heron. This species is suspect to lose 18 until 25% of suitable habitat within its distribution over three generations. Given the susceptibility of the species to hunting or trapping, the Agami heron is a medium sized heron. It is a resident breeding bird from Central America south to Peru and Brazil. Despite its stunning plumage, this reclusive species preference for set of overhanging vegetation means that is rarely seen. Agami herons starve their prey, fish, frog, small reptiles, and snail in shallow shaded water in forested areas. They often stand still of places of directly in the water or moving very slowly. They rarely wait in open water. Several outship behavior have seen, described, and are used by both sexes. The gray cornered crane is a type of bird that belongs to the crane family. These birds are commonly found in the savanna south of the Sahara Desert in Africa. Although they nest in more humid habitats, they can also be found in swamps, cultivated areas, and grassy plains near rivers and lakes in Uganda and Kenya. These cranes are omnivorous, eating plants, seeds, grain, insects, frogs, worms, snakes, small fish, and the egg of aquatic animals. Stamping their feet as they walk, they flush of insects which are quickly caught and eaten. The birds also associate with grazing heavy forests, benefiting from the ability to grab prey items destroyed by antelopes and gazelles. They spend their entire day looking for food. At night, the crowned crane spend its time in the trees sleeping and resting. This capered heron is a water bird endemic to the neotropics, inhabiting rainforests from the center of Panama to the south of Brazil. This species is fairly distinct from other herons, being the only one with a blue beak and face and a black crown. The belly, chest, and neck are covered with yellowfish white or light cream feeder. And this secretary bird is a large 
mostly terrestrial bird of prey endemic to Africa. It is usually found in the open grassland and savanna of the sub-Saharan region. The secretary bird is instantly recognizable as a very large terrestrial bird with an eagle-like head and body on crane-like legs. Unlike most birds of prey, the secretary bird is largely terrestrial, hunting its prey on food. Adult hunt in pairs and sometimes it loves familiar flocks, mammals lagging in size from mice to hare and mongoose, crabs, lizards, snakes, tortoise, small birds. Sun return from Southern Amazon, Brazil. The bird has generally subdued coloration with fine linear patterns of black, gray, and brown. Its image, however, have vividly colored and middle webs, which with wings fully spread show bright eye spot in red yellow and black. These are shown to order sun beaters in courtship and treat display or use to start a potential predator. King Fulter Bird Lark and predominantly white. The King Fulter has gray to black ruff flight and tail feeders. The head and neck are bald, with the skin color varying, including yellow, orange, blue, purple, and red. Birds of Sponsbill Sponsbills are most easily distinguished from ibis in the shape of their bill which is long and flat and wider at the end. The nutrients are located near the base of the bill so that the bird can breathe while the bill is submerged in water. The eyes are positioned to provide spawn bill with binocular vision also when for aging, tactile scents are important too. Like ibis, spawnbill have bare patches of skin around the bill and eyes. <laughs>